Making Money host Charles Payne, who joins us now. You're getting ready for a big town hall next hour. Charles, I know that you heard that previous segment, and it's really not sort of the surprise that bothers you, but more the indifference to it, right? Yeah, you know what? I don't think that uh, President Biden is surprised that there's an inflation issue. I mean, we have 40-year high inflation. And by the way, when inflation data comes out and it's less than a prior month, it doesn't mean it went down. It means it's going up slower, mm -hmm. right? So this inflation is baked in. People are suffering because of it. The White House knows this. They understand what's bored. Right now, the border and immigration, I mean, immigration, the border, and, and the economy, they understand exactly what's happening. I think the real issue, and I think what the deflection was, is the indifference to it all. Mm -hmm. The administration has an agenda. It has zero to do with the economy, zero. It yeah. has nothing to do with it. Uh, in fact, to achieve their agenda, at some point, and I'm borrowing, I'm, I'm paraphrasing President Obama, uh, oil prices, gasoline has to be unnecessarily higher. It must be higher price so that people are forced or coaxed into doing like EVs. Same thing over and over again. Uh, what people are feeling at home, this pain in their minds is a necessary pain to get to some sort of climate utopia. Mm. Yeah. Charles, you're heading to New Hampshire next week as well for the primaries, but you are also hosting and promising a town hall today like nothing that's ever been done on business TV. Ooh, that's right. What does that mean? I, I mean, we, we, you know what? So uh, if you guys remember the last town hall, I had Vander Holyfield and Annie Duke, right? The world was one of the world's greatest poker players. And I was going to initially get a behavioralist, uh, someone, you know, because and when you right. invest in the stock market, you're going to take losses. And so I kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it. But everyone I looked at was wonky. I didn't know what the hell they were saying. <laughs> so, so then I said to myself, at 3 in the morning, I woke up. One night I said, Evander Holyfield, he took a lot of losses. He was the undersized guy when he became a heavyweight. And eventually he moved up. He took those losses, but he won. It was necessary for him to take those losses. The next night, 3 in the morning, I woke up. Andy Duke, right? I mean, who but a poker player right. has to understand that you take the losses, but you mitigate yep. them to get the big jackpots. So now I'm thinking the Roaring Twenties. How mm. do I articulate or express the Roaring Twenties? I went through a whole lot of experts, but the way we're going to do it, people are going to love it. I All can right. guarantee you that. That is why the tease. It must be my favorite country song, No One to Fold Them, No One to Walk Away. <laughs> Kenny Rogers, that's right. <laughs> Charles. You don't want me to start singing, do you? No, no, no. Okay. not start yes. singing. No. Nope. Yes. No singing. I we... thought that was my cue. It's like, you know, <laughs> you got to know. It. Okay, I'm there sorry. You got you yes. song. <laughs> we will be tuning in. The Becoming Unbreakable Town Hall starts right at the top of the hour, right here on Fox Business with only Charles Payne. Wow, okay. We're going to keep that on after the show. Meantime,